There it is, old stopping grounds, dude. The pit. Yeah. It's where you would smoke cigarettes at our middle school yeah. or fight <laughs> if you wanted to fucking dare step with him into the pit with me. But, you ever have a fight in the pit? I never had a fight in the pit. You know, pit. I actually never fought in the pit. I never had to. I usually fought right in the classroom if I was going to go down. I didn't wait. I wasn't a guy that was like, oh, meet me after school. I would be like, fuck it, let's go. We brawl right there. Now, I've given, I have to say, I've given thousands of rides. Mm. And I don't know how many times I've picked up a Mariah. Really? And the second I saw that it was for Mariah, I just felt the need to play one of the greatest editions. Are you gonna play Mariah Carey? In pop culture history. You're gonna play Mariah. Carey. I have to. Okay. Do you, is that is that too cliche? Does no. everybody do that? <laughs> no, this is literally the first time to go up. Oh man, I had it all queued up and I lost it. What happened? I believe in you. Here's the question: What would you have went with? I, see, originally I was going to do Heartbreaker because Jay Z had the fire verse in that. Oh, okay. But okay. then I was like, you know, all I want for Christmas is like, a, oh, you that know, song. That, that's like a, it's a layup. Everybody exactly. loves that song. It's funny, I'm not a Mariah Carey fan. What? Your name's Mariah? I'm literally named after her. No. Yeah. Wait, like, you're kidding. My mom named me Mariah because she loved Mariah Carey in the 90s. No way. And she's like, Mariah, perfect. And I'm like, fuck, mom. Like, I don't know how, I don't like this lady. <laughs> she's mean, like she sucks. Like, 1990s Mariah Carey was lit, loving her. Okay, so you would like the song Heartbreaker. Or yeah. was that early 2000s? That was early 2000s. Okay. But it's still the same era. Yeah. Like, anything pre, like, 2010. Okay. I can usually vibe with anything after. I'm like, ah, fuck you, lady. I don't like you. <laughs> Yeah, that's so crazy because I was I was afraid like oh man I'm sure she gets Mariah all the time and she's probably like no I'm my own Mariah you know <laughs> yeah, I'm my own but it's person. like no you were actually named after Mariah Carey that's crazy God that woman drives me up a lot he's very much stuck in the fact that she was important and like very popular oh okay and now she's just like a diva and I don't respect that I'm like yeah oh. I I can get behind that you know just a little bit of modesty goes a long way she was actually you know that uh, carpool karaoke. Oh, yeah. She was actually the first one to do that. Really? I'm not surprised. And, well, here's the thing. Uh, James Corden, this is going to be a really cool story, <laughs> to how I'm going to relate this. So James Corden uh, called a lot of people, and they kept turning them down. Oh. So uh, he, like, basically lied to Mariah Carey and was like, just get in the car. I won't ask you to sing. It won't be recorded. I'll give you a ride to the studio because she was going to be on it later. <laughs> and, he and then he did that. Things. And so if you watch it, like, she, you can see she's, like, hesitant at first, and it's, like, totally oh, real. And then okay. after that was so popular, all these other artists, like, signed on to do I, it. I can respect that. But I thought, so I thought that was cool. <laughs> but I share that because, ironically, I have a YouTube, and I do this project where I, like, share fun Uber rides. Oh, nice. And I asked a lot of people, like, to be on the Uber karaoke, <laughs> and they don't want to. Oh, really? Yeah. But if you want to share this ride, I'd be more than happy to put you on there. I feel like this Absolutely. is a really fun conversation. My name's Mariah, and I hate Mariah Carey. <laughs> there, there it is. Thanks. Awesome meeting you, Mariah. Have a good one. Oh, Mariah smelled good. I always say this, like, we only hear the songs from the 70s and 80s that were good enough to last to our day, you know? But I'm sure it's in the 70s and 80s, they were still, like, commercial, yeah. like, mindless yeah, stuff. Yeah, shit. The difference between music now and the music then is, I feel like you had to be more organized and more deliberate and, and in a relationship with people to gather a group. And now it's more of kind of run off to, like, you can do it alone. That little Nas S X guy, Old Town mm -hmm. Road. Yeah. You know he bought that beat from some guy on SoundCloud for, like, 40 bucks? Yeah. In, like, Switzerland or something. Or Sweden. Yeah, I don't he even totally know. ripped off Nine Inch Nails. Wait, what's that? They ripped off Nine Inch Nails. Who did? Little Nas X? Yeah, I can play you the song. What? Old Town Road? or? Yeah. The, really? the beat nine from that nails? song is a Nine Inch Nails rip. Trent Reznor sued him. Really? Yeah. No way. Did yeah. he win? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. The song's called Ghost. I'm going to give that cheesesteak, like, a fucking 9.2. Because that's really one of the best. Whoa! Yeah, listen to this. That's how it starts. Dude. I take my... Holy... Yeah, dude, this is nice. No. Yes. Yes. This is literally the same song. Yeah. If you want to listen to some really good new rock and roll, check out the Glorious Sons. They're good, dear friends of mine, and they're honest rock and rollers, man. Hey, Caroline. Yeah. Bomp, bomp, bomp. How are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> good. How's your night, Ben? Uh, it's been good. Did you get my joke when I was at bomp, bomp, bomp? I'm sure a lot of people do that. You know, like the song? No. Sweet Caroline. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> no one's ever that? done that? Yeah, no, yeah. I didn't oh, that's it. awesome. That's the song I was named after, believe it or Wait, not. Wait, you were actually named after that song? Yeah. Was, Shut up. Yeah. That's crazy, because I picked up a Mariah recently and she was named after and I made a joke about Mariah Carey. And she was named after Mariah Carey. No way. Yeah, that's nuts. Yeah, when my mom was like about to go into labor, my dad was at the bar with like a bunch of his buddies. And the song, like they had no, they thought it was a boy, so I was supposed to be Kyle. And then um, they were at the bar, my, my dad and all his friends, and Sweet Caroline came on. And like they were all like singing to it. And my dad called my mom, he's like, I have a great idea. Like, what about Caroline? And my mom's like, I love it. Oh, that's so funny. I can't believe that. So wait, your dad was at the bar when you were being born? Well, <laughs> well like, right I, before my mom went into labor. Well, I asked that because so, my dad was too. <laughs> was he really? <laughs> yeah. And my, he always says, like, no, he was there. My mom's like, no, he wasn't. Because it's the same kind of thing. Like, the timeline's like, yeah, yeah. apparently my mom was in labor for, like, 40 hours or something crazy. So <laughs> my dad and his brother, like, went out. And my mom's always like, I was all by myself. And my dad's like, you told me to leave. Yeah. <laughs> Hit a like and all that. that. Write a comment. Like Don't and subscribe. Dad. Don't go there. Your Philly's loved son. Oh, well, I, I don't son. know about that. I'm, I'm like. Well, you need to be. I feel like somebody, you know, somebody told me. Listen, I'm an Adam under, Sandler's I'm on his way out. We need <laughs> Edward Doyle to fill that yeah. hole. I'm an, I'm an underground YouTuber. Somebody <laughs> told me that before, and I'll take that. Yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, dude, you want to hear some glorious songs today? Yeah, sure. We're allowed to put them on because I promised they're my boys. They won't care. We're going to play a glorious song. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> YouTube works like that. <laughs> ah, <laughs> we'll try. We'll try. I'll get the rights. Brett, Jay, can we get the rights? Sorry about that. Huh? Sorry about that. Not you get a turn snuck up on me. <laughs> I just like... I, I would just like so I'm still out of it right now. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. I was, no, I, no, no, no apologies. I got lit last night, dude. I got yeah. so messed up. Dude. Hey man, that's what Saturday nights are for. <laughs> yeah. I like the country music is awesome. Yeah, man. I, it's one of the reasons I like driving on Sunday because they do the top 40 countdown. Yeah, I like it. It's uh, they, they always play some good hits. Do you live in the south? You said? Yeah, Georgia. Uh, were you originally from the south, or did you move down? No, I'm originally from Europe. I came from Eastern from Europe. Europe. Yeah. I'm Oh, no way. So you like American country music and you're from Slovakia, you said? Yeah. I bet they don't play too much of that over there. Yeah, you, know. you originally moved to the south when you came here? Um, yeah, I just lived down there periodically. Like, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. I like to move around. Dude, that's awesome. Uh, my mom is uh, gypsy. Oh, no way. Yeah, like carry like wagons and like with the horses. Like, have you seen Peaky Blinders? Yeah. It's like that. Yeah, London. No, yeah, there's, that's, a of, there's a lot of gypsies in London. That's yeah. legendary, man. Yeah, yeah. That's so mom, cool. Yeah. A lot of people ask me what I am. It's like, they, they all think I'm like Arabic and white or like, a lot of people think I'm either Italian or Arabic. It's like most of the time. And, um, because there's not many gypsies around here, so. So, you gotta give me, so I, you know, I've heard the term gypsy, like obviously growing up, and then... I never knew, I, I actually interned at, and this is terrible to admit, but I, I worked at a um, a Holocaust museum, and I know that gypsies were the victim yeah, of... Yeah, I have uh, grandparents and great-grandparents. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, but at the same time, like, I would always say gypsy, and I knew it was a group, but I never knew... The, I never knew it was like such a culture, honestly, until Peaky Blinders. Yeah, no, and no. I've been meaning to read up on like what, where do gypsies come from? Northern like, India. Northern India. Yeah, we came from Northern India and Middle Ages. Oh. We, went to, we, we settled into Europe in the mid to like the 1400s. Okay, so, so you moved from Northern India to Europe yeah. in the 1400s, just so go, as uh, entertainers. As entertainers, for gotcha. A segment of, uh, in Belgium. No way. 500 of us were picked from Northern India. Um, so there was like a 500 group of original gypsy. Yes. No way. And, and so then you came to Europe as an entertainer and then you just, just kind of never went back. And just kind of became it, like a nomadic. Yes. I have uh, DNA from Moscow and then from Rajasthan, India. Wow. So yeah, I'm Russian and Indian. That's wild. Yeah, it's not a very common combination. So people have been asking me what my race was my entire life. They're like, you're Russian Indian. It's like the most uncommon thing in the <laughs> right. entire world. A girl seemed to like it, so. Hey, that's, hey, I, that's they, they probably the most crazy. important thing, right? <laughs> Canada, they're huge. They like 
sellout stadium. Dude, it's crazy. It's just like what we were talking about. Like, I'm watching this video, and there's tens of thousands of people singing along to a song yeah, to a band yeah. I never even heard of. You I know, know what I mean? I know. And it just goes, it's like, how small we are. Right. Full like, circle. This should be called Full Circle. Yeah. This podcast. <laughs> full circle with cheesesteaks. <laughs> Try that on for size. 